Are you looking for the perfect questions to ask buyers, online leads, sign calls, wherever you get your buyers from? Are you looking for the best questions to ask them? I got three of them right here. What's up everybody, Ricky Cruz here, super excited today. Got three questions for real estate buyers that I want you guys to start using immediately. This is gonna help you convert better, this is gonna help you develop relationships better, this is just gonna help you overall. So before I get started, I do wanna let you know if this is your first time here, I'm the very first completely free real estate coach. Right now, as of now, there's over 13,000 agents in the program, there's a 90 day action plan, full online course, there's phone scripts, and there's live training sessions twice a month with me. You also have direct access to me anytime. So we're really doing a lot of good. Our entire mission is to reduce the failure rate in the real estate industry. We're doing it one agent at a time and really making a difference. So I'm super excited of the direction of Zero to Diamond. And uh, if you guys have any questions or anything I can do for you there, just feel free to reach out. Comments below this video get answered and I answer every single DM on Instagram at Ricky Carruth. So let's get into these three questions for real estate buyers. Um, this is something that I've learned over my almost two decades in the business and I still sell real estate full time by the way and so I'm in the trenches, I'm in the grind, I'm, I just love the process. Um, as a single agent I'm selling over 100 properties a year since 2014 and I still show every property. I show all my buyers, I don't refer them out, I don't have a buyer's agent. Um, on top of that I still go to all my inspections, closings and, and all the other things that that uh, real estate agents have to do, I still do that myself. I haven't hired a team or brought anybody on to take that stuff over for me because I believe in relationships so much. Um, I lost everything in the crash um, in the late 2000s and I think that the biggest reason was because I valued the transaction over the relationship and once I realized it was relationships over transactions, it turned my business around and now I'm just trying to share all the philosophies with you guys for free. The only thing I want in return is for you to get out there and succeed. So just take what I'm doing and go succeed. Send me an email and let me know how much it's helping and that's all I'm asking for. Okay, let's say you get a buyer lead from somewhere and you need to know what to say, how to approach them, what are the questions we need to ask to really make this happen, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna call them immediately. We're gonna call the buyer lead, we're gonna, we're gonna say who we are, we're gonna ask them how they're doing, um, we might even talk about the weather, you know, you guys who are longtime followers know my phone scripts. We're gonna tell them, look, I saw you were looking online or whatever the case may be and you know, I didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you. Okay, so the first question is, is there anything in the world that I can do for you? That is the first question we're gonna ask our prospective buyer, okay, because we wanna know what we can do to help them. So we're gonna ask them simply what we can do to help them. So they're gonna start telling us everything. They're gonna start telling us what's going on with them. They're gonna start telling us what they're looking for. They might even start telling us when they wanna buy, price range, all the criteria. They're gonna start telling us all this stuff and we want to start taking notes. We wanna start asking them questions as they're, as they're telling us things to try to narrow down the search and to really find out what we can do to help these people um, do what they're trying to do. So the first question is, is what in the world can I do for you? Okay, if you ask them the first question and the answer is that they are looking to buy something pretty quickly, okay? Um, the next question, the very second question is going to be, is there an agent that you're working with on that? Okay, this is a very important question because we want to establish where we stand in this relationship, in this client to, to real estate agent relationship. We want to make sure they're not already talking to another agent or already obligated to another agent. A lot of agents get so emotionally attached to these deals and they don't even realize that that person's mom might be an agent or they already have been talking to an agent that they feel kind of obligated to and a lot of customers and, and clients, you'll be surprised, they don't understand how real estate works. They think it's okay to talk to several different agents, right? It's crazy how so many buyers don't understand how the whole system works in real estate, but it's true. So just be real careful there. That's why I love this question. It really establishes where we stand and where we need to go from here. 
Okay, so we got what in the world can I do for you? And we have is there an agent that you're working with or is there an agent you're going to work with? Okay, so the third question after we've gotten this far and we've established all this, this third question is designed to go deeper with the relationship and really find out how we can really help them. And that's going to be why. Why, Mr. Buyer? Why, Mrs. Buyer? Why are you thinking about buying a house? Why are you thinking about buying a lot? Why are you thinking about buying something? Okay, you want to go deeper right here because now at this point we've established some rapport. Obviously at this point if you get this far, they're starting to build trust with you. They know you, they like you, and things are kind of moving in a positive direction. I've said this on so many videos and it's part of my hardcore principles of how to be successful. But when you find out why people are trying to do what they're trying to do, what's the behind the scenes reason, what's the bigger picture of, of what's going on in their life, that's causing them to make this decision and you focus on that rather than the transaction, rather than the deal, rather than the money, rather than just trying to get them to sign the line, then you really go deeper with that relationship. You're really helping people on a whole nother level and it's just a, a different way to do business rather than the normal, you know, always be closing, right? Always be closing is not the best policy in today's world of sales. If you can connect on a deeper level and your prospects feel like you really care about the bigger reasons of why they're trying to do what they're trying to do and you focus on trying to help them accomplish those bigger goals, which, which actually get you the deal, then that prospect, whether they buy that day or in five years, they are always going to use you as their agent and they're going to give you all of their friends and family, all their referrals, all of their repeat business, everything. You're going to have all of that instead of trying to put them in an awkward situation to do a deal today when they might want to do one in three weeks, right? And you try to figure out how to handle objections to get them to sign the line, put them in an awkward situation and run away from you and never return your calls again. Right? That's the situation we don't want to be in and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing is try to share with you guys exactly how to create and maintain these relationships without putting people in awkward situations that make them run away from you. So I hope this video really helps you when you're dealing with your buyer prospects. If there's anything or any questions or anything I can do for you, just shoot me a comment or hit me up on Instagram and let me know what in the world I can do for you. We'll talk to you soon.